Hey, what's up? This is Keith with thejazzworld.com and this is your two minute holler for January 17th. So, have you been to Birmingham, Alabama? What, you never had a reason to go? Well, the Steel City Jazz Festival should be and could be that reason this year. It's happening June 1st and 2nd in Birmingham. Now, they always have top-notch artists. They haven't released a lineup just yet, but one confirmation is Steve Oliver, so you can tell where that's going. Now, you can buy tickets at Steel City Jazz Fest bham.com you can also get more information there now they're also doing something interesting you can also buy a live feed so if you don't want to make it out there you can view it on your computer I just want to make sure that you're not sleeping on Jonathan Fritzen's new album it's called ballads it was released in 2017 and the piano player has got some nice tunes for you to listen to We've been jamming the Let It Go for quite some time, and you can go to the Jazz World and check that out just to see what I'm saying. Now, he's going to be on tour in Texas February 8th. He'll be in San Antonio. February 9th, he'll be in Dallas. And February 10th, he'll be in Houston. Now, after that, he'll go overseas as a part of the Dave Cause Jazz Cruise. Now, you know how they do it over there. And he'll be back this summer in California, Napa, to be exact. And we'll let you know about those shows here in a couple of months. So, once again, that's Jonathan Fritzen. We got word that Usher is in the studio recording some new material. He's enlisted some of the old school people that we love that includes Jermaine Dupri, Brian Michael Cox, and also Rico Love. So we will definitely keep you up to date on some of that new stuff. Now, it's got to be better than that Hard to Love album. Because if I'm being quite honest, that was hard to listen to. I have some news on Gregory Abbott. Yeah, that Gregory Abbott, Mr. Shake You Down himself. He's got a new single called On and On. It's a remake of an old Stephen Bishop song. It's actually pretty decent. So go to thejazzworld.com. We have it right there for you to listen to. In a recent interview, he actually indicated that he's going to release four original songs this year, including the music video. So, hey, we're down with that. All right. So we'll see what he has to offer coming up in 2018. Well, that's going to do it for us for today. We will see you next time.